Hello guys, this is Hidden Power 13 bringing you another explanation slash strategy video. Now, if you'll see here, my I have the Wiggler Shine selected, and some of you guys might think, "Oh, is this a déjà vu experience?" And the answer to that is indeed it is because I do have a Wiggler video on my um, channel, but I've come to the realization that it's absolutely worthless. It doesn't go into detail. I barely know what I'm talking about, and it's just no good at all. So a few months have passed and I now finally understand how Wiggler works to a 100%. So if you do the exact same thing I do and watch out for the things I mention, then you will be able to get the best strategy on Wiggler performed pretty easily. So yeah, I'm going to redo the video, let's go. Alright, so right away, I like to open up with two jump dives, walking a little bit and then spraying the dune butt. As long as you make him trip, you're fine, but if you want to be on the safe side, you might as well do what I do, I guess. Now, what I didn't talk about in the last video is that now you actually don't want to ground pound him as fast as possible, but quite the opposite. You want to make him. You you want to uh, ma ma to. Oh my god! You want to let him slide as far as possible so that he doesn't move anymore. Because if you ground pound him too fast, then his pattern will be all messed up, and you'll not be able to go for the best strategy like I'm showing you right now. So, yeah, let him roll out as much as possible, and you're gonna be fine. Now you already have the uh, first indicator to judge whether you've done it right or not. If he goes for the extra cycle, then you're on the right track. If he goes for the, if he skips the extra cycle though and goes straight for the charge, then you've already messed up the strat and you will have to use the backup strat. That's not such a shame, but the best strat simply saves time, so you'll definitely want to pull it off. So this time he's definitely going to go for the extra cycle because I've done everything right. Yeah. Okay, now, the timing for this dune bot is not strict at all. You basically also only want to make him trip and that's it. Personally, I like to spray the start spraying the dune bot before he goes around the corner. So I guess if you want to be on the safe side, you might do that as well. Now... Basically, you want to do the same thing you did last time you ground pounded him. Wait as much as possible, wait until he doesn't move anymore, and then perform the ground pound. Now that was very slow, of course, but that's no big deal. Now, uh, before you align yourself with the uh, dune bot, you want to check whether he goes in the right direction. If he goes to the left, you will quickly have to switch positions and go for the backup strat. If he goes to the right, however, you've done everything correctly. So let's see where he goes this time. Oh, what a surprise, he goes to the right. Now, isn't that nice of him, eh? Alright, so. Now, if you start wondering when you have to spray the dune bot, basically, you want to wait until his head aligns with your position. So if his head is basically in one straight line, um, oh my god, uh, if it's in the same line as your position basically, uh, it's going to sound a little bit confusing, but if you practice it a little bit, you'll, you're going to see what I mean. Or you can just do what I do here, it's your choice basically. That was perfect. Ah. All right. Yeah. On the last instance, you can obviously ground pound him as soon as possible and you don't have to wait for anything. What I'm gonna do now is I will show you which movements you have to perform if he goes to the left and you quickly have to change positions. So basically, let's say let's say you stand here. Okay, let's let's let us let the shine appear. Yeah. Shine sprites always interrupting me. 
<laughs> so let's say you stay here and then suddenly Wiggler goes to the left. Uh, you quickly want to go like this dive, maybe another dive, and then water slide. Just to this dune bird, right here. And then you want to s you want to spray directly because Wiggler will already be there, so you need to hurry up a little bit. But yeah, basically Wiggler is then going to drop off here, and you're just going to perform a few dives, spin jump, and ground pound. Alright, so that's the backup strat. For the rare occasion that you'll miss it up. Alright. Oh yeah. So, yeah, that was the Wiggler Explanation video. If you just watch out for the stuff I said, you're going to be most, you're going to be very fine. And if you still have questions, post them in the comment, uh, in the comment section. I'm very confident that this is the way to manipulate Wiggler 100%. And yeah, I hope that this video helped you and that you will no longer get screwed over by the Wiggler because that is very frustrating. Alright guys, I hope I could help you out and uh, yeah, see you later.